Uh, Eric Orwell just did a response video to me. Thank you. Uh, a lot of very good points raised in that video. I'd like to respond to them all. Um, I'm glad that he's willing to discuss this because in some ways it, I, my videos could be interpreted as an attack on what he's doing. I, I'd, I'd rather actually discuss what the points that he's raising. It's obvious what my take on the whole thing is, but I like to discuss these things in a non-hostile way, which you know he seems to prefer as well, which is great. Um, two things at first. I mentioned like, you, you, the issue comes up of cultural Marxism, and I understand that that is sort of an ever-present kind of um, stumbling block. People who speak the way I do often get accused of this, and rather than just sort of say, oh, you're just calling names, how about we just sort of say, okay, I understand that you believe that I'm a cultural Marxist, but the fact that you believe it doesn't make, it doesn't obligate me to defend myself against the charge of cultural Marxism. Um, I'll put it this way. If a human being walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, and swims like a duck, it's still not a duck. Similarity isn't enough to put something in a category. Um, I may sound like a cultural Marxist and a relativist, um, but, well, you better, you, you, know, you have to be careful with these things, because cultural Marxism was a deliberate means to an end. The end was overthrowing Western civilization and replacing it with communism. I have no such aim. Um, I have often said that I absolutely loathe communism. Um, I might be on the left of the political spectrum, but I have absolutely no time for hardline, angry, militant, punitive leftists. None of that. It's scapegoating and, and you know, revolution by KGB isn't my bag. It's not how I think that society can be helped or reformed in any way at all. <clears throat> so just because my tactics, I guess, tools, I guess is the way I would put it, my tools seem relativistic. It doesn't mean that I'm spreading things as a means just to weaken Western civilization. Now, it may, again, it may look that way to you, and you may sincerely believe it. But be careful. I said only I get to decide if I'm a cultural Marxist and anything else is simply an ad hom or, at best, a straw man. Um, be careful when you're trying to find out what people actually believe. I rebel against the term atheist all the time, but I've said I don't believe in God. Okay, Things are never as clear-cut as we want them to be, especially categories, especially when we're applying categories to people. Um, and um, when you know, you're know you discussing things like cultural Marxism, um, the end game seems to be to wreck Western civilization, to pave the way for communism. Um, I have no such aim. Okay, so uh, I think that based on that, that alone, I don't want to wreck Western civilization and replace it with communism. I'm not a cultural Marxist. But again, people are going to believe that I am, and there's nothing I can do about that. And I tend to just sort of move on. If you're going to believe that I'm a certain thing, it doesn't obligate me to defend myself against that. <clears throat> it's just, well, that's your problem, it's not mine, until, of course, there's a knock at my door at 4 a.m., then it's my problem. <laughs> but, in the, you know, in, in right now we're just discussing things. Um, and the same with relativism. If relativism is an end in itself, okay, you can say somebody's a relativist. If they're deliberately um, trying to subvert every last belief out there just for the sake of subverting every last belief out there, then, okay, you can say that they're a relativist. All that they want to do is smash things and prevent people from building anything. I keep saying I'm not like that. My relativism, such as it is, is more a tool than an end, end game and, and uh, a result that I'm aiming at. I don't actually want relativism as an end in itself. I want to look at things from as many different points of view as possible in order to actually get a more thorough conception of reality itself. Um, it's not that I'm... Relativism is not an end in itself, for, as I say. I mentioned the thing about um, just because somebody drinks a bottle of whiskey a day, it doesn't mean they actually intend to get cirrhosis. They don't actually intend... Like, just because you're an alcoholic, uh, it doesn't mean that you promote the idea of alcoholism. It's the same thing as, say, if you... Um, 
you know, anything that you do. It doesn't make you a somethingist just because you engage in that activity. Um, I have sex all the time. Does that make me a sexist type thing? You know, like it, it, the, the whole thing is ridiculous. Um, applying labels in a more or less hostile or at least involuntary way. Uh, now, arguably, I'm doing that to Mr. Orwell himself, and I'm willing to sort of answer to that criticism um, because he hasn't said anything that is actually uh, disturbing or anything like that. There are a lot of disturbing comments on his videos, but I don't see anything that he has said as all that horrible in and of itself. It's just that when you read between the lines, you get a little bit nervous, but you know, you give the person a chance to clarify things. That's the purpose of dialogue, if you ask me, is to clarify things, not to, um, not to make people defend themselves against insinuations. Um, but we, we can all make each other feel like we are doing that. I understand that my arguments could be interpreted as me trying to pin Eric down and get him to answer insinuations or allegations or aspersions that I'm casting. Um, not fair of me, and I'll, you know, I'll try not to do that, but sometimes in, in a debate or in a discussion that happens. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to sort of understand that maybe somebody is actually making a point that might be worth examining. Um, I think that his point of view is worth examining, and I don't really have any issues examining it or discussing it. Um, a lot of people say that, well, because that I don't allow politically incorrect stuff on my channel, I'm a politically correct as an end in itself, but no, that's not true. I just won't, don't want people dumping in my own sandbox. Um, it's all very well for me to say that when I'm willing to engage people who will do that on other people's channels, but I think that they hold the gavel on their own, own channel and it's their business to police their own channels. So that's just first of all, be careful with the labels and be careful especially with things like cultural Marxism and relativism. Um, cultural Marxism and relativism assume that there's an end game there that is simply absent in my arguments, in my discussion. Um, whether or not people are going to believe that is another matter. Um, but, well, as I say, nothing I can do about that.